students let's study a very interesting chapter that is polygons you all have heard about triangles rectangles squares all these come under polygons so we can say polygon is the base of geometry so let's go through its entire journey the students when we were small we used to draw many things and it was great fun you want to see what we used to draw okay this was drawn to make hills right and this was drawn specially to make umbrellas sometimes we even used to draw figure like this and yes sometimes even something like this great so let's see all of them together oh so here we have all of them together do you see any difference student any difference see this one just a free hand drawing this one free hand drawing with no breakage but what about this here when i was drawing this i have to lift my pen and then i have to draw this so we have to perform lifting over here what about this when i was drawing this i drew this and again retraced the path came back again through this path and then made this line now in drawing it was all fun but when i say in maths it makes some sense and how there are figures which are drawn joining points without lifting and retracing and what are they this one and this one yes and we have given them a name which is curve what it is student curve so can i say that these two are curves yes and what about these two these two are not curves so we have understood that when we are drawing and we are not lifting neither retracing it is curve but when we are lifting or retracing it is not curve great so let's move ahead and see more interesting things okay what is this student so my first question is is this curve yes when i was drawing it I didn't have to lift my pen neither I have to retrace any path but there is a speciality in this curve and what it is very good it is closed if you see carefully student if i'm outside i cannot go inside and if i'm inside i cannot come outside it is a closed curve what about this this is again a closed figure but if i take this what i am doing my curve is starting at this point but when i see is it ending at the same point no it is not ending also if you see here student if i am outside i can easily come inside and if i'm inside i can come outside so what should the name be any guess opposite of closed that is open curve so we have understood what is closed curve and what is open curve right great now can i say that we can divide curve as in closed and open right and we can also say that it is closed when curve ends at the point where we began and it is open when curve does not end we can see a path to enter and come out right great now again very interesting point what can you say about this figure student this is a curve very good this is closed wow so we have gained so much knowledge now we are saying it is closed curve see 
Very good. And what else? It is a triangle. Very good. I want you to tell one more thing. But I will give you one more figure. Yes, this is the another figure. Can you tell me any difference that you can associate? Yes, here you can see lines are crossed. And here you can see no lines are crossed. Right? So that means here lines not crossed and what about here? Lines are crossed. Now when lines are not crossed, it looks like simple. So it is simple curve and when there are lines crossing, lines crossing, what it will be students? Simple. Opposite of simple. Yes. It is called as Complex curve. Okay. So, when no lines crossing, simple. When lines are crossing, it is complex curve. So, what does that mean? That means curve can be divided again into simple where lines are not crossed. And complex where lines are crossed. C for cross, C for complex. Great. Now, student, tell me what you can say about this. Curve. Good. Complex. Complex or simple? Very good. Why simple? Perfect. There is no line crossing. What about closed or open? It is closed. So, I will tell you a technique, student. See, when I say close, Open, that's very simple. If you think it is closed, right? Closed curve, it is closed. No line crossing, simple. So I can say it is simple closed curve. Great. Let's take the other one. What about this? Perfect. It is looking closed and no line crossing. So simple closed. Perfect. Let's take another and become champion in this because this is very important. Lines crossing, perfect. So I'll say complex and still closed. So complex closed. Very good. Let's be fast students. What about this? Great. It is closed. Next. It is simple. No lines crossing. Simple. Closed. What about this? Lines are crossing. So complex. It's closed. So complex. Closed. Let's take this. Oh, great. Very good. Simple. Closed. If I take this student, no lines crossing anywhere. Simple. Looking closed. So, simple. Closed. Okay. So, we can say that sometimes we have simple closed, simple closed, complex closed when lines are crossing. Here simple closed, here we have complex closed, lines crossing, simple closed and simple closed. Now comes a very important point that now we are restricting ourselves. And where we are restricting students? Let's see. We are saying that we will now take only line segments. Do you remember? When I was making hill, I was taking curve. When I was making umbrella, it was just like curve shape. No, now I will take only line segments. And I will take only simple closed curve. Why? I will tell you the reason. See this. Is it following my rules? Yes. Only line, line, line. And simple, no line crossing. And closed also. Okay. What if I take this? Tell me students. Yes, this is following my rules. No, this is not following because here lines are crossing. Now, do you want to hear a very important word? Yes, here it goes. That this kind of curve which is simple closed and made up of only line segments are called as polygons. And that is what we are studying today, students. Getting my point. Polygons. 
for polygon it is very important that that curve has to be simple closed made up of only line segments you want to see more examples let's see so we just have discussed which is polygon the first one this is not the polygon okay great this is my polygon fine let's move on let's take another example here it comes oh yes tell me very good this is a polygon this is a polygon no this is open it's not simple closed curve right open open so what can i say this is polygon yes okay let's take another example okay here it comes tell me student is this a polygon yes this is a polygon made up of only line segment simple closed curve what about this star star is a polygon see this is star if you see carefully here lines are crossed right lines are crossed so this is complex so this is not a polygon so can we say only this is polygon yes perfect great so this is a polygon so all these figures curves are polygons the reason is only line segments are used and they are simple closed curve wow what a wonderful definition this polygon has right okay now let's move on and see the definition of polygons a simple closed curve made up of only line segments is called polygon oh we know this now we know this right students perfect now comes a very interesting thing and that is that we have different kind of polygons now my question is student can i make a polygon with only one line with only one line no because it has to be closed with two lines no so minimum i have to start with what okay i'll tell you we will start with 3 okay now when i will start with three number of sides so we will see definitely their figures and their names so let me tell you i will have these three lines 1 2 3 you want to see the shape yes this is the shape what it is it is called as triangle try try means three three sides triangle okay great now we will take sides 4 let's take the four sides 1 2 3 4 you want to see the figure students yes here it goes four sides and this is called as quadrilateral and i know you are already aware of these two names triangle and quadrilateral and now comes very important point that we have to remember that is when number of sides is 5 so let me take 1 2 3 4 5 now 5 what we do is now 5 onwards we always give name gone 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 and 5 5 is penta so this becomes pentagon oh, great interesting okay so let's see the figure and the name okay so here you can see 1 2 3 4 5 sides and it is called as pentagon now interesting point is you might think that we can draw it like this also like this yeah no problem all you have to understand is there has to be only lines and it has to be simple closed curve as long as it is simple closed curve student i can draw it in any way i want okay so this is a pentagon okay now let's take six number of sides okay so here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so what will be the name student gone you know six hexa we use hexagon so here we have the name hexagon and here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay similarly we have seven number of sides and we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 line segments and let's see the name any guessing you want to see okay hepta heptagon hepta hepta means seven heptagon okay and here is the figure wow interesting figure okay 
Now, let's take more. Uh, definitely we will. Fix number of sides, 8. And we have 8 lines. Okay. And what will be the name and the figure? Yes. The name is Octa. Octa means 8. Octagon. And here is the figure. This polygon. Wow. So students, it's not that we can have only these number of sides. We can have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh my God. Till where we will move on? Infinite. When we will have infinite sides, it will become a circle. But don't tell me circle is a polygon because it is a curve. Right? Okay. So we can have many number of sides, student. That is more important point. And basically we have given name even for 9, 10. Okay. But what you have to remember is till 8 for your 8th standard. Okay. Fine. Now, let us take a polygon. Okay, so I'm taking a polygon A, B, C, D, E. Okay, so can you name it now, student? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pentagon. Perfect. Here, if you will see A, B, C, D, E are called as vertices. And that's very simple because we know in triangle, we know in quadrilateral. Fine. What else? The second important thing is sides. If I talk about sides, you can see we have side AB, we have BC, we have CD, we have DE and what else? We have EA. You can write AB also and BA also, no problem, okay? So AB, BC, CD, DE, EA, these are sides. Anything else, student? Uh, anything else? Yes, diagonals. Very good. So, diagonals. Let's talk about diagonals. How should I start? Let's start from A. AB is a diagonal? No, no way. A to C. Perfect. What else? A to D. Very good. Then B to E. Perfect. Then we have? Very good. B to D. Here comes BD diagonal. What else? And here we have CE or EC diagonal. Great. So in every polygon, we have vertices, we have sides and we have diagonals. How can I define diagonal student? Yes, we are joining vertices definitely but non-consecutive. Because when I join consecutive A to B, it becomes side. So, I have to join A to C or A to D. Again, if I join A, which are consecutive vertices, it becomes a side. So, consecutive vertices gives me side. Non-consecutive gives me diagonal. Great. Okay. Now, let's study more in polygons and see some more fun. Wow. So, as soon as I draw this polygon... Students, now what is the name? One, two, three, four, five. Again, pentagon. One, two, three, four, five. And that was also pentagon. So, what's the difference? Well, we'll discuss. Don't worry. But when I was drawing this, my whole plane surface got divided. And this region is interior and this is exterior. Right? Okay. Let me take one more. Here I am. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hexagon. This is interior and this is exterior. Wow. Let's see both of them together. So can you see the exterior regions and the interior regions, students? Yes. Now let us make diagonals. If I start making diagonals in this student, so let me start. Oh, we join A to C, A to D, B to E. C to E and B to D. Anything that you can identify? All other diagonals were inside. But only this diagonal was lying in exterior region, right? All the diagonals were interior, but this was exterior. Okay. And what about this student? 
here definitely all diagonals will be in interior only and here comes the difference because when i will name this kind of polygon i will say it is concave polygon so definitely it is pentagon but it is concave pentagon this is hexagon and i will call it as convex hexagon you got the difference yes you want to understand in more better way okay so polygons we can say students are of two types convex convex means all diagonals inside the curve okay and we have concave if any even one diagonal is outside we say it is a concave polygon wow amazing things we are doing students right do you remember how we started student we started with simple curve simple closed curve line segments only and then polygons great and their convex and concave polygons amazing let's see more things what is this what is this student yes this is this is a triangle right what is this this is a square what is the speciality this is equilateral triangles all sides are equal and all angles are equal here students what is the speciality here this is a square all angles are 90 90 90 degree and all sides are same we should name these kind of polygons shouldn't we give them some respect some name students you want to give okay so what name we have given them uh first thing is all sides should be equal and all angles should be equal and the name is regular polygon regular regular why regular no irregularity okay once it starts every side is same each angle is same and the most beautiful polygons regular polygon no irregularity you want to see some irregular polygon i'll show you see this one this is also a triangle but all angles are different right and all sides are also different if i take this this is also a quadrilateral but angles are different sides are different so we say these are irregular polygons okay so we can say polygons are of two types again we have regular polygon where all sides and angles are equal and we have irregular polygons where all sides and angles are not equal now the time when i will ask you questions student okay lot of concepts so let's discuss some questions and see if you are clear or not now is this a concave polygon is this a concave polygon see the diagonals any diagonal outside yes so what is my answer the statement is true this is a polygon is it a simple closed curve crossing crossing complex yes this is false is this a concave pentagon mm, this is concave because this diagonal this diagonal they are outside but pentagon pentagon means five sides 1 2 3 4 5 6 concave hexagon again false so here we talked about polygons they whether they are concave convex regular or irregular now this is very interesting question student so okay so let's see this interesting question here we have figures and here we have to tell what type of curve they are let's see the first one so here i have the first one okay what do you think student is it a curve yes it's a curve it is simple yes it is simple no crossing is it closed not closed okay so we have simple curve that is not closed right okay so this first matches with c so let me put it above yes let's take the second one oh crossing of lines complex 
complex curve it is right okay is it closed is it closed student do you think it is closed think of no here you can say it is open right so what do you say it is not a simple curve okay so let me put it above yes okay let's take this circle now circle circle simple closed curve so it should be a polygon no it is not made of line segments right okay so simple closed curve what about this it is closed but crossing of lines so it is complex not simple so closed curve that is not simple okay so here we have taken lot many examples student and i hope now you are clear with what are polygons